So in dub music, you know, you'd get many different cuts uh, or different mixes. If you listen to a sound system, you play maybe two or three different mixes of a tune. So you that one like that, which is more like everything in. Then you sort of like do one like this. And after that, what's very important, you do the bass. Flat. But now it's got EQ. And in dub music, what's very important is that your bass, it must be higher than the bass drum. Because when you go on a sound system, they always get the heavy bass. And if your bass drum is higher than your bass, you're going to get a boom. You're not going to get a You're going to get a Good balance. I think that's one of the hardest things to get in the mix. This becomes this like a an instrument. You actually like play the mixer, if you know what I mean, like you play a guitar. This is your instrument. And really it's only dub music that really does does that really. sound, that brrrr will come through really heavy. So you take the bass off, and you put more click, and you cue it, so you get more like low mids. So you got more space for the bass. Yeah, basically, but at the same time you still got that yeah. punch. Then you can put a bit of reverb on it or something if you want. Just a little touch, just a... Put your little tops on. How would how I would do it at a studio? I always do the drums first. Right. Yeah. Get them sounding good. A little bit of a. has like piano and guitar. Usually when I'm mixing it'll be all on separate but for the purpose of today we put it on one track. to do a mix, I always do about four, maybe five cuts. After that, it becomes a bit like, well, you've done everything. Yeah. There's not much more you can do. You know what I mean? 
realistically, who really wants to hear five cuts of the same rhythm, uh, one after the other? You can get a bit boring. So you basically, you do like maybe five or six, then you pick out number three, I'll have three, number four, or whichever one. Or even nowadays, you can get even smart. You can get the whole five mixes, you put them on your computer, and just take out the bits you want. Like in the pop business, they do that a lot. Most importantly, the voice really has to lead mm. because it's the lead voice. When you hear certain tunes that the, when the voice is not loud, sometimes in the studio, it sounds loud, but then you go outside and it's like, oh shit. So I always say, even when you think you have it loud enough, just push it a little bit more. Really, the voice has to be free above your mind, everything else. You know? free your soul. trying to find a gap in between his voice. Every day is all day. Bang. It kind of fills up the uh, fills up the music, you know what I'm saying? There's no gaps. Okay, so you make the music play with the vocals yeah. and uh, yeah. make the backing uh, yeah. by so music. Sometimes the rhythm is empty and it's just like another instrument. I'll show you. I always remember watching Junior Delgado. You remember the singer? Yeah. He was producing some music. Yeah. And he abused the singers. Really? Oh man, do it again! He's the only person I was scared to work with. Really? Yeah. Very intimidating. It was hard. It was yeah. very tough. And in them days, we never had the benefit of computers. We used to use tape. Uh -huh. So if you're if he's singing and he make a mistake, he say, but drop in. You mean drop in? You mean punch in. Right, so he will sing and the mistake, I have to push. Uh -huh. And he sings. Okay. But if you make a mistake, it's it's gone. So you're there. Uh, I remember this guy's like, I used to listen to his music as a, a youngster. So for him to come and I'm voicing, I'm very nervous. Like, mm. You know what I mean? Drop me a nail. <laughs> it was dub school. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it was good. It makes you learn. Mm. But like I said, now you have computers, you can take it out, stop it. It is. Yeah, do what you want, basically. Manipulate it to your heart's content. Which is good, but at the same time, it make you a bit lazy. Yeah. You know? I think when you're, when you're not scared, but you're apprehensive about something, you do it better. better. Yeah. So you're top you believe everything. Because you know you can't go back. If you can't go back, you make sure what you're doing is good. Whereas if you can go back, you maybe not take so much effort to get it right. You yeah. see what I mean? Yeah. Worship your life and family 